Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm very pleased to participate in today's Super Science. And uh, what I'm going to talk about today is how to invent um, new reactions for uh, green chemistry. Of course, McGill, uh, especially the effective science, is very strong and, uh, in, in this particular subject. So today we are facing some of the greatest challenges in human history, and such as the economic problem, the environmental problem, the energy problem, as well as the resource problem. So maybe I'm biased as a chemist when I look at it, and it's all chemistry. <laughs> because over 97% of everything we are manufacturing today involve at least one chemical process. And based on the, the World Research Institute analysis, only 10% of everything we have taken from the Earth has been retained in the product. And the rest, 90% became waste. So if you look at this, it's a tremendous, tremendous challenge. So how to overcome these challenges? It is really a big, big scientific issue. And well, in the 1990s, the field of green chemistry was created, and which is one of the major efforts in the world trying to overcome the, uh, uh, the, the sustainability problem. And so the ultimate goal of our research is trying to take whatever available in nature, uh, basically such as the hydrocarbon, uh, CO2, lignans, cellulose, as you, you can find, and based on renewable uh, basis, and through very simple reactions, by inventing a very simple reactions through catalysis in clean solvent, such as water, and turn them into useful chemical product directly. Of course, this is a, a very wishful thinking, but uh, really, what we hope to do in the end, after many, many years, we would like to have some new tools available, new science, new chemical science available, so that we can come with this. And uh, so, of course, we need to explore new reactions. That's what we're trying to do in our group. And just give you a, a very quickly two examples, and this is a pattern actually by McGill, where you take carbon dioxide, alkene, in water through a very simple catalyst, such as bromine with uh, hydrogen peroxide and uh, air, we can turn them into cyclic carbonate, which itself is a very useful uh, solvent already. It's called the greener solvent. And furthermore, industrially, you can polymerize these into biodegradable plastic, where, of course, when you throw in nature, it will decompose very quickly. Unlike the current plastic, it will take about 100 years to, uh, to, to degrade. The another example, of course, for the chemists sitting here, the most important reaction in chemistry is the uh, Grignard reaction, but you have, they are very sensitive, and you have to protect the nitrogen and use anhydrous solvent, and furthermore, you have to synthesize them. So we develop a process where you can take the simple alkyne or alkene and the, water, and the functional group and the water by using a simple catalyst, stirring water, and mostly in, in, in air, you, you turn them into product directly. There's virtually no waste left behind. So that's what the, we develop. And so finally, in the end, what we hope to do is through green chemistry research, we will have a, a sustainable society and both have a healthy environment as well as clean um, the, the chemical manu manufacture industry. Thank you.